Seven segment displays. I uh, personally have mixed feelings about them because they're quite symbolic with the object that constantly reminds me that I need to get out of my warm and cozy dreamland and then into the cold, harsh reality that I am not the protagonist who slays dragons, but some background character that needs to pay rent next month. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Midlife crisis aside, what is a seven segment display? Uh, in short, um, it's actually a lot easier than it might look. It's actually just seven LEDs that you can turn on and off, but in a nice little, you know, digit format, which makes this a lot easier to program knowing that. For example, in the diagram you will see below, you will need to turn on LEDs and Balra, I'm going to have you put this on screen. You will need to turn on, for example, LEDs A, E, F, and G would give you the character F. If you turned on A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you'd get the character 8 because all LEDs would essentially be lit up. Some letters can be displayed, some are harder to display, obviously. We're only given seven LEDs, sometimes you gotta do like lowercase weird workarounds. But for the most part, when it comes to just the standard nine digits that people would normally read, this works pretty darn well. The benefits are that obviously like it's a lot cheaper to have seven LEDs than it is to have potentially like an OLED mini display or some other type of screen to read off of. So if in certain applications, it's more power efficient and also cheaper. But uh, obviously the downside is that, well, it's you're limited with only seven LEDs to what you can actually technically display on there. But for things like an alarm clock, what does it really matter? So the wiring we're gonna use is as follows. Pause if you need the diagram or chart going forward. Pin two here will be going to LED A. Pin three will be going to B, four to C, five to D, six to E, seven to F, and eight will be going to G. And we will show the graph again. It will also need to be grounded in the top and the middle. So we have a, a resistor here and a resistor here um, that just bridges the ground lines that we're having run parallel along the board on top and bottom here. At least that's how we're wiring it. So we can make a couple quick examples using the sample code below. So let's try to make it say the letter A. Not to be confused with this up here, which is also labeled A. I want it to, the entire thing to say A. <laughs> All right, so remember that these are, at the end of the day, LEDs. So what you can do is you can quite literally just say, hey, I want to write, digital write, whatever you want to here, and set it to high. So in order to do that, you can just click, um, I said A, B, C, in E, and F, and G, and ta-da, just like we thought it would, it would give a capital A. But let's say theoretically, because remember that these are just LEDs, I wanted to change it to an H very quickly because that's probably one of the easiest ones I can show. The A up here is lit up, the very top one, but if I were to comment that out and then re-upload, it will now not turn that one on and now it's an H. So that should just about cover it for the seven segment display. Mm -hmm.